Hey everyone, it's Alan here. I don't normally make uh, response videos uh, directed at one particular video or um, one particular YouTube channel, anything like that. Normally, if I'm going to respond to anything, it's sort of as a to a, to a situation as, as a whole. Um, this is a bit different. Uh, one of my favourite YouTubers, a guy by the name of Photonic Induction. Um, He's had a bit of a time away from YouTube, and he came back recently with an update video. Now, his update video basically said that the Home Office had let him down. And if everything that he says about the situation is true, and I have every reason to believe that it is, uh, yeah, he's, he's been pretty badly let down by our government, which is a it, it, it's just a complete bastard, to be honest with you. Pardon my plain language there. <laughs> um, um, he made that video on uh, May the 3rd of uh, 2018. And as I record this, uh, that's his most recent video. Now, I'm not actually responding to the entire video. Uh, I am responding to... Um, a section of video that I'm going to let play out in a second. If you want to watch the whole video, it will be link one in the video description. So, uh, yeah, if you want to watch the whole thing, go ahead and watch it. Um, however, the part that I'm responding to is this part right here. You might laugh at this one, but it is serious. For many, many years, probably a decade or so, free energy, perpetual motion. Sounds ridiculous, doesn't it? People have been working on it for years. But I have to sit here today and tell you that perpetual motion and free energy exists right here. Limitless amounts of power can be generated. Shall I tell you how? Well, the perpetual motion is actually the planet. It's been turning at a thousand mile an hour for billions of years. And it's not going to slow down. And guess what? Our planet has a magnetic field and it's rotating. Therefore, you can produce power. In fact, 40 terawatts of power from the rotation and the field of the planet. I've got the plans. I'll show you the plans if you want to see the plans. But, obviously, it's going to need quite a bit of copper and iron to build the contraption. It will probably be four square kilometers of ground space. That's all what's required. Four square kilometers. And the thing will rotate like a gyroscope on the spinning planet. And the small difference in field will allow self-excitation. You believe that? So here's the thing. Photon is um, a very, very clever uh, electrical engineer, um, I believe he's an electrical engineer. Uh, hey, Photon, if you watch this video and I'm wrong about your profession, please correct me. Please, please correct me. So, be because of that, I generally take everything that he says to be, uh, you know, mostly true. Uh, he, every time he does, uh, he, he makes an assertion in a video, he actually then goes out and proves it. Usually by blowing something up, which uh, is great. <laughs> um, however, what he said there, uh, it didn't ring true for me based on my understanding of, um, uh, of physics in the world. Now, uh, a website uh, which will be linked to, it is uh, physics.apps.org, seems to somewhat agree with what he's saying. Um, they reckon that you can... Uh, generate electricity uh, from the Earth's rotation because Earth is rotating in a magnetic field. They say that this would be nanowatts, but it could be scaled up. Um, I'm not sure if four kilometers of copper would be enough in their calculations, but uh, it'll be linked to in the description, so uh, go ahead and, uh, and read it. However, I'm going to draw my answer um, from NASA, who uh, 
yeah, they they are sort of the uh, uh, the space agency I would imagine to uh, to listen to. But they they also, I I believe they check their work with uh, other space agencies around the globe. So um, yeah, now NASA, and I'm quoting from Link Three here. Uh, they state this. Magnetic forces try to make the plasma co-rotate with the Earth. Uh, their effect turns out to be the same as would occur if the magnetic field lines which thread the plasma were viewed as attached to it. Then everything, Earth, plasma, and the field lines attached to it would rotate together, meaning that the four kilometers of copper that uh, Photon is talking about in his video would actually be moving at the same time as the field lines. They wouldn't be moving through the field lines. Now, I'm not an electrical engineer, um, but as I understand how electricity is generated, the copper has to move through the magnetic field lines, or the magnetic field lines have to move through the copper. Basically, the copper has to break the field lines, whichever, whichever one is uh, is turning. Um, this means that with the, the any amount of copper, it doesn't matter whether it's 4 kilometres of copper, whether it's 40 kilometres of copper... Um, they wouldn't generate any electricity. Um, now, free energy is is a wonderful idea. Uh, unfortunately, with the technology and information that we have at the moment, well, no, actually, maybe that's not true. With the technology we have at the moment, perhaps it is possible, but with the information that we have at the moment, it doesn't appear to be. Which is, yeah, that's, that is unfortunate, but that's the way of things at the moment. Um, like I said, you can check my, uh, my little bit of research out. It's link three. Um, and it was NASA that answered a specific question, uh, posed by, uh, someone who I believe was doing some work, some homework with their kid or something like that. Um, yeah. There you go. You, you you can you can go ahead and check that out. On a personal note, um, Photon, I hope you see this video. Um, you are, like I said, you are one of my favourite YouTubers. You are a brilliant uh, electrical engineer. I'm hoping that's actually what you are. Um, your videos have kept my interest up in the field of electrical engineering even though that's not my field of expertise, you know, I know enough to be dangerous. And when it comes to electricity, that's actually probably very true. Um, please don't do anything daft, you know, uh, jumping in front of a train or throwing yourself on the 400 kV lines because of some stupidity of our government really isn't the answer to anything. Um, you know, you've got to think... Forget me for a second. You have a loving wife. And even if you don't care about yourself, I beg you, care for her. Um, you know, not to mention... YouTube just wouldn't be the same without you, man. It hasn't been the same without you. Nobody does high-voltage naughty boy time like you. I don't think anybody does high-voltage naughty boy time full stop. Um, and you know what? I've missed that for the past few years. Um, I would miss it if you weren't around. So please, no matter what the world throws at you, stay strong, man. Thanks for watching, everybody, and I'll see you all in the next one.